For David and I, we've always thought that if we could just cross over and do filmcourage.com full time, we would probably gain more opportunities because you're devoting more time. Absolutely, yeah. So what did you see in terms of, because when I've quit jobs or whatever, had some time off, I noticed that there'll be a flurry of activity mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff starts happening. And then once I start, depending on a paycheck, yes. stuff dies down. Yeah. So can you, I'm sure you can relate to that. Absolutely, Absolutely. yeah. I, well, that's, it kind of goes in, in having a couple of things, having a couple of things going. Even right now, if I could, I would kind of pare down some of what I do and focus on the things I want to do more. But I know I can't, I can't do that. Um, I teach improv comedy and I love, love, love doing it. However, it's a lot of energy to put out. It's a lot of time to put out. And if, if I had to, um, if I had to cut something out, it would be that. But I can't sit there and be like, you know, let me just cut it out and, you know, jump in the net will appear. I, I still, uh, I still realize that, like, I'm not that, I'm not that great, you know, where I can just be like, oh, the world will just love me and, and hand me money. Uh, so, you know, I think you put those, you know, you put those long hours into it. Yeah, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out and the more it's going to become valuable and, and, you know, you, you know, it's, it, it becomes something that, generates an income or from that you find a way to generate income like for me like I take my YouTube channel I'm like how can I make money off my YouTube channel with not not just from videos whether it's brand integration writing things for other people so I always take something and I'm like how can I make money five different ways from this one thing and not just how can I just make money like just from it without kind of branching it out uh, so I would um, I would just say keep pouring heart and soul into it, keep it, you know, you got to keep it up there because, you know, you let go of that site, as you say, or you let go of a YouTube channel for a month, two months. I mean, you, you're, you're, you're almost back to zero. You, you don't, you don't just come right back into it. So it's a lot of, a lot of upkeep and just find creative ways uh, to, you know, keep those people coming in, whether it's aggregating content that people love. And, and, you know, I have a Facebook fan page and sometimes I'll just put, stuff that's like nothing to do with me but I think this is funny but what it does is it gets people to share my Facebook page I get more Facebook followers and then when I put up a video I get more views so uh, I just yeah I just find I just find different ways and for me it's it's tr a lot of trial and error and like looking to other people to see what are they doing that's so successful and see what I can borrow what do you say to those people that say well I just want to get to your level and then have my people do it for me oh, well they yeah they all they all say that you know um, you know, there's people that are whatever. There's people that are uh, need to lose 100 pounds, and they want. Well, I want to be, um, you know, 6% body fat, and then everything else will come. Doesn't you know what I mean? It doesn't uh, like it just doesn't work like that. For some people, they do. They even though the people that that put up one video and it goes viral, they people might not care about anything else they put on after that too. With the same way, you have to. You know, n nothing is really that easy. You think it's easy because it's just like. Oh, you're just putting up, you don't see what goes on behind the scenes. The most successful people, they have long, you know, you're working a 40 hour a week job. Some of these other people are, are putting like 100 hours a week into their YouTube stuff. And they're, you know, dollar for dollar, you're probably making more money sometimes. But they're living their dream and they know that there's, you know, the payoff will come and it doesn't seem like work. People just don't see what's the, 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 the kind of like glazed over look you have in, in, in kind of keeping your keeping your internet personality up there, it's a lot. Right, I mean, it's still a job. You're still at your computer and you're kind of clocking in for yourself. Yeah. How many filmmakers or YouTube, mm. you know, celebrities yeah. do you know that can actually quit their jobs? Uh, not, not that many. Um, you know, it also depends on like, you know, what their, what their lifestyle is. You know, if you, if you're willing to live, and I, you know, I'm willing to live very, you know, kind of like, I just love what I do. I don't care about things. So I'm kind of lucky in that sense. Um, but there, you know, there's just some people that creatively find ways to make, you know, make money. But yeah, a lot of, you know, it's like actors in Los Angeles, like how many of them are making a living? 1%, two, whatever the percentage is, it's pretty low. So it's this, it's the same with, it's, it's all, it's all entertainment. It's all, uh, kind of delivered entertainment, you know, whether it's TV or YouTube.